Hi, this is Amr of the Gawad, and the lecture today is about Kohler's disease. What are the objectives of this lecture? First, we would like to explain the pathology in case of Kohler disease, and then we're going to speak about the clinical presentation and the X-ray picture in cases of Kohler's disease. And finally, we're going to describe the management of children with Kohler's disease. A good source that you can use is this book written by myself and Dr. Naga. Before we discuss the pathology of Kohler's disease, uh, let me speak first about the navicular bone. Uh, so this is the navicular bone. Um, so you have the talus here, you have the calcaneus, and then you have the navicular bone. Navicular bone is in the medial side of the foot in between the talus and the medial cuneiform. So this is the first ray here, first meta. Uh, tarsal the first metatarsal articulate with the medial cuneiform and then this is the navicular so the navicular bone is the bone in the foot in between your talus and the medial cuneiform. It's on the medial side of the foot. This is the last bone to ossify in the foot. So it ossifies around the age of one and a half year in, in girls and about the age of uh, two and a half to three years old in boys. So let's now discuss the pathology of Kohler's disease. So this is the x-ray that we show in the previous slide and you can see uh, here is the navicular bone. So again, here is the talus, here is the uh, medial cuneiform and here is the navicular. This is the normal shape of the navicular. Patients who has a uh, Kohler's disease, there is a collapse of the navicular bone. So Kohler disease is a collapse of the navicular bone. Most probably it is related to the AVN of the navicular bone. There is other theory that says it may be related to chronic stress. However, most people think it's um, some sort of avascular necrosis of the navicular bone that will cause collapse as you can see here in this x-ray. Let's discuss the clinical presentation of Kohler disease. The disease is uh, far more common in boys, about 4 to 1, and is frequently bilateral. The child will present with uh, foot pain and limping. Uh, the child will be preferring to walk on the lateral uh, side of the foot to decrease the stress on the navicular. And then when you examine him, you will find tenderness over the dorsomedial foot uh, at the site of the navicular bone. So the radiograph will show the disease, obviously, as we uh, showed before. This is the x-ray that we had showed before. If you see here, this is the navicular bone, uh, and it is uh, flattened and sclerotic, uh, and this is an indication of uh, Kohler's disease. Let's see another example for a, a patient with Kohler disease. Here is a boy presenting with uh, a foot pain. X-rays show obvious uh, Kohler disease. If you see, here is the navicular. Uh, it is collapsed and uh, fragmented. Uh, here is the first cuneiform, um, sorry, media cuneiform. Here is the talus and the navicular. You can see, obviously, there is a collapse and fragmentation here. The same in the lateral view. You can see all, also that um, the navicular bone has a collapse in this X-ray. So this is a picture of patients with Kohler disease representing with a foot pain. So what about the prognosis of Kohler disease? Kohler disease is a self-limiting disease. So this is the x-ray that we just saw. And this is the same patient after about a, a, a 16 months. And if you see the navicular bone is getting now thicker and the bone is getting uh, closer to the normal. If you compare uh, the navicular bone to the cuneiform or talus, uh, the bone is um, getting uh, closer to normal. So it's a self-limiting disease. A blood vessel will come back and the bone will regenerate. So what is the treatment for Kohler disease? It's mainly symptomatic treatment in the form of rest, non-steroidal. Uh, however, if this fails to control the symptoms, uh, you can proceed to short leg walking cast, and that's usually needed for about four to six weeks, and that usually uh, control the patient's symptoms very good. And uh, remember, there is no place for surgery in Kohler's disease. Thank you. All my videos are for educational purpose only. Please consult your doctor before any decision.